Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell. I appreciate it majorly. So, um, you know, I was just thinking about some things, that article about uh, uh, the exclusive, exclusive Vicky Ward at CNN about Lev Parnas through his attorney stating that, um, you know, he was in contact with Devin Nunez you know, around the time that he claims Devin Nunez took a trip to Vienna to meet with and that he put him in, in touch with Ukrainian officials to dig up dirt on the Bidens. And this was around November, December 2018, right around, right immediately, um, you know, the actual trip, according to according to Bondi, uh, Parnas' attorney took place. Uh, immediately following the midterm elections, November 6, 2018. And actually was, and according to Bondi, you know, according to Parnas through his attorney Bondi, that was specifically time for that for then because, um, you know, Congress would be out of session. So, you know, Devin Nunez wouldn't, would, would not be required to declare it, you know. Um, and also because uh, before before the new Congress came in session, session because the Democrats won the majority and he'd no longer be the chair of the Intelligence Committee. But one thing occurred to me, several things occurred to me, but so according to that article, and I'm going by memory, you know, um, Parnas claims that he puts put Nunez in, in, in touch with several Ukrainian officials to get dirt on, dirt on Biden. Doesn't say exactly who. And then it says later that he learned from talking to Victor uh, Shokin, the the former prosecutor, prosecutor general, the Ukrainian pro, Ukrainian prosecutor general, who was who was fired years ago, who's accused of being extremely corrupt. You know, according to him, according to Parnas, Victor Shokin told him that he met with Nunez. So ultimately, the Ukrainian officials that Parnas put 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 in touch with with uh, Nunez at some point put Nunez in touch with Shokin and now we don't know who those persons are you know and what exactly Ukrainian officials you know what that that what what that totally entails but the meeting supposedly took place in Vienna Vienna seems to pop up over and over again and uh, Vienna to me carries a lot of significance because Vienna is where Dmitry Firtash the Ukrainian oligarch who is fighting extradition to the United States for for unrelated br bribery charges. That's where he's that's where he's basically living, and he's not allowed to leave there. He's allowed to walk around. He's out he's out on bail on out on bail for like 170 million dollars. We don't know how many billions he's worth. And I don't have time to go into you know his whole background, but that's where you know that's where he's located. So and that's where the mi meeting took place. You know, and is he is he one of the Ukrainian officials? He's not a Ukrainian official, but I, um, is he sort of in in the mix here? I don't know. I really don't. But one thing that came, um, you know, that occurred to me is that in November, December 2018, Joe Biden hadn't even announced that he was going to run for president yet. Okay, he was going to he announced running for president in April of 2019. OK, now people may have suspected that he was going to be running for president, but that's a full five months before he officially announced his run for presidency. You know, that seems like an awful lot of work and uh, pretty high level stuff going on for somebody who hadn't even announced he was going to be running for president yet. Yet, uh, yet. you know, not that's not to say that I'm doubting Parnas's account, not just the just the just the opposite. But based on all the videos, you know, I've made about my theory that um, you know, um, that Hillary Clinton and, 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 and Trump, you know, fixed the 2016 elections and that Hillary Clinton lost on purpose. This seems to kind of, you know, be more of the same. All right. That's one, that's one thing. You know, another thing was that there was this supposedly in that same article about this BLT team as, as, as it's sort of, they have a subsection in there titled that. And that's this group that according to Bondi, Parnas's attorney that regularly met in the BLT restaurant on the second floor in the Trump International Hotel in Washington D.C. It doesn't give any dates as to when they did that. You know, he names the people that he called the team. Uh, you know, one was Giuliani, two was two was the attorneys, the the the, the husband wife attorneys, Joe DeJovina and uh, Victoria Tunsing. Um, 
Derek Harvey was there on some days. Derek Harvey is now works for the Intelligence Committee, works for Devin Nunez, and, and was part of Trump's um, National Security Council. And that's who uh, Lev Parnas claims is basically uh, Devin Nunez's proxy, you know, as it relates to Ukraine. And he attended some of these meetings. Supposedly, so did John Solomon, the journalist who used to be with the the Hill. And so what occurred to me with that was and John Solomon basically said that he was put in touch with Parnas, Lev Parnas, to, to help uh, get you, certain Ukrainian officials on the record and also help with language, you know, because Lev Parnas can speak Ukrainian. And uh, by his attorneys, Joe DeJovina and Victoria Tunsing, I don't know when they became his attorneys because I just don't know. Uh, but according to this article, who reached out to um, John Solomon and his comment, like, was as I was describing that, you know, his attorneys put him in touch with Lev Parnas around March of 2019. Right now, uh, jo Joe DeJovina and Victoria Tunsing, they, uh, they're, they've been hired by uh, um, Dmitry Firtash, this individual, the, olig the Ukrainian oligarch, you know, hold up in, in Vienna. And they, but they didn't start working for him until around July of 2019, you know, of this year, right around the time when either, you know, immediately before or, you know, when the infamous July 25th call between President Trump and President Zelensky. Prior to that time, a different attorney was representing, um, you know, Dmitry Firtash as, as, as late as early July 2019, according to reports of my memory serves me right. And that was Lanny Davis. Okay, Lanny Davis is the former White House counsel to Bill Clinton during the Clinton administration and a long time associate and close friend of Bill and Hillary Clinton. But, you know, so the timings of these things, you know, meetings in Vienna at a time in December, November, December 2018. We have no idea whether or not this involves Dmitry Firtash, but at that time, Lanny Davis was still serving as his lawyer, you know, long, uh, the White House counsel, the former White House counsel to Bill Clinton, the Clinton administration, longtime friend of Hillary and Bill Clinton, you know. So these things just occurred to me while I was thinking and we're driving. And that's pretty much the story there. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.